July the 15th, 2023. Guys, you're looking at a map from tomorrow on the 16th. It's predicted temperatures and places are going to break all-time records. They're saying now we don't know how far the records go back for each area. It's not that long ago that we did not have the satellites and the temperature measurements, digital information that we have now. So it's really hard to say that you're going to break world records. But they're saying reliably measured highest temperature in Death Valley could be broken this weekend. could be above 130 degrees. Now this map is color-coded. In the very right you see green and that tells you you're reaching above 120 up into the 130s almost to 140 in some of these areas. Check this out in the green. This is Vegas, Las Vegas, San Diego, Yuma, Arizona. And the, you can go down the charts at the different temperatures. When you start seeing the yellow and oranges, more than likely you're dealing with the upper elevations. And so it's not that hot compared to 130. Now what's surprising, they started announcing the fact that Death Valley was going to break records. And now there's a lot of tourists that want to go there and see that and experience it. Uh, insanity runs rampant on the planet right now see it more and more every day but this is not just in the southwest it's all across the nation it's all across Europe this is across the southern plains deep south and southeast tropical moisture will overlap with hot weather to make heat exhaustion and heat stroke a dangerous threat heat indices could climb into the 110 to 120 degree range let me say this you can make it if you can stay cool and hydrated but if you have rolling blackouts and I'm a little worried about ERCOT over in Texas their power grids and in California now it says that uh, the heat indices could climb to, into the 110 to 120 degree range Marathon Key Florida just netted its hottest five day period on record with an average afternoon high temperature of 97.2 Wednesday featured a heat index of 118. Unprecedented water tempers between 94 and 98 degrees are threatening sensitive coral and marine life. And guys, if they ever break a hurricane off the uh, African coast and it makes it through that Saharan sand later, things are going to get really tough. They're talking about uh, the Gulf of Mexico, South Florida, even on the east coast, the water is way too warm. It's late August temperatures. And uh, it's been like that for a couple of weeks. It says floods, fires, and deadly heat are the alarm bells of a planet on the brink. The heat is not confined to the lower 48 states. Southern Europe is also in the early stages of a dangerous heat wave. Excessively high temperatures are forecast from Portugal and Spain through southern Italy and as far as Romania and Bulgaria on Thursday and Friday. In Sicily and Sardinia, temperatures could approach 118 degrees. Think about that, guys. Challenging the highest levels ever observed in Europe. According to the European Space Agency, the heat will expand into Central Europe, including Germany and Poland, over the weekend and may linger over Southern Europe for much of the uh, week. And going back to the U.S., it says it's not just Death Valley facing all-time records. Sunday is expected to bring a high of 117 degrees to Las Vegas, which would tie the city's hottest temperature ever recorded. There's a chance that Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday could also tie record long streaks, four days in 2005, of afternoon highs at or above 115 degrees. Again, the problem becomes, um, the main problem becomes the fact that your grids could start rolling blackouts or go out completely. Remember, we had two in late June, uh, just as I was getting out of surgery, trees blew over and crushed the light lines and then a power station a week later burnt up and so during that heat and recovery time it was miserable and I think that sticks in the back of my mind um, and the reason I want to do these videos because we suffered through that and uh, trying to keep pups cool and everything it was quite uh, an adventure to say the least and it really the, the first two weeks where I could barely walk so Tina, it was a lot of it on her, and uh, again, the mental factor of heat, humidity here, which is unlike in the uh, southwest. If you remember, I told you one of our heat factor days, or the heat index, was 132, 
I took pictures of it at 1.30 and then I thought that was the peak and I looked over a few minutes later after I set my phone down and it was 1.32. The day or two before that it was 1.20 heat index. So this can, it gets rough guys. And we know biblically there won't be a flood that wipes out the uh, a lot of the people on this planet. It will be by fire, an all-consuming fire. And guys, it just you can't help but think about what we're seeing now, coming uh, out of the uh, the drop of Solar Cycle 25 and now reaching into its peak. What will happen? You can't help but think about what the Bible tells us. Are we starting to see the days where nature takes over more and more as man rushes, as we're seeing in Europe, for World War III and nuclear destruction? Is that how the interference will come? That will stop the madness? We don't know, but the heat in itself can be devastating. As devastating as a war, if you're caught in it and you have a heat stroke or you you die, your family dies, it's all the same. It says uh, that interior Southern California will also swelter. A dangerous prolonged heat wave is in store for inland areas through at least early next week with the hottest day Saturday through Monday. And this is coming out of the Weather Service in San Diego. Phoenix, meanwhile, arguably the most heat-prone city in America, established a record warm nighttime low of 94 degrees Wednesday and is poised uh, to set numerous additional records as when it only cools down to 94 at night the concrete jungle of Phoenix does not get time to cool off so the heat's waiting for the sun to rise again so it just builds Phoenix has already logged 13 straight uh, days with highs at or above 110 and it's closing on the record of 18 days which should be surpassed early next week Every day in the seven-day forecast for Phoenix calls for highs of 112 or greater. By multiple metrics, including record warm nights, already three in a row, again, 90 degrees or hotter, there's, this is already the city's worst heat wave on record. And I've been there in the summer. We have kids and grandkids in Phoenix. And guys, it is miserable. And this was not during this period. It was about two or three years ago. Over the next week, the Weather Service is forecasting an average temperature of high and low temperatures of 104.6. That's the average. Think about that. Which would crush the city's previous warmest week on record, which had an average temperature of 102.9. Now, at least some of the reservoirs in Arizona and in those areas are filled back up from the heavy rains and snow. Says for Texas, the Southern Plains, the Mid-South, the Gulf Coast, and Florida, intense heat is combining with tropical moisture to bring hazardous heat indices. Away from the immediate coastline, most of Texas will see air temps from 100 to 105, and that started back a couple of days ago, guys, and it's going to continue through next week. It said uh, with low to mid 90s elsewhere across Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, here in Mississippi. Alabama and Louisiana. The temperatures alone probably won't break many records, but the extreme humidity with dew points in the 70s will spread over most of the region. That means that every cubic meter of air will be holding roughly half a shot glass's worth of moisture. The atmosphere, which will be closer to saturation, won't be able to evaporate sweat off a person's skin and allow evaporative cooling to regulate body temperature. As a result, heat stress will grow and heat indices of 105 to 112 degrees will be widespread. A few locations will feel like 115. Again, guys, we've seen 122 to 132 here. In Florida, a main culprit has been the ongoing historic marine heat wave. When you don't have hurricanes, you don't cool off the planet. A number of spots off the southwest coast of Florida are seeing water temps at 95 degrees or greater. That's adding exceptional amounts of moisture into the air. Miami had a heat index of 110. This was last Monday and 108 two days ago on Thursday. They're at 32 days in a row with the heat indices over 100 degrees and a record 11 consecutive days with heat indexes topping 105. Only meager improvement is likely in the days ahead as afternoon thunderstorms return to the forecast. Guys, that's kind of been the savior here for the last week. 
off and on uh, sun, thunderstorms and showers, knocking that heat back down a little bit. But remember your friends and families and your pets. Your family can tell you when they're hot. Your pets don't understand this weather report. They can run out, especially your young pets, like our pups. They can want to get outside and run and play in the fence, and they don't realize what's happening. So we do that early, early in the morning. They've already been out for over an hour, hour and a half now, almost two hours, looking at the clock. But uh, And then they come back in and get in their cool room, which is air conditioned. It's a big 10 by 10 in the glass room with their beds, air, everything in it. You have to do those things. But when you lose power, you have to put everything under the fans. And if you haven't seen the video from last week or earlier this week about the fans you can get it that are battery powered at Home Depot by Ryobi, check that out from small ones to large ones. And it's especially helpful for you guys that have Ryobi 2s, you have a lot of batteries. But some of the fans, especially going to the, uh, the large ones, the 18 inch fans, they are hybrid in other words you can run from your electricity wall plug or you if the power goes out you can uh, go to your battery power so check that out 18 inch hybrid ryobi fans and i think they make the same one in a 14 inch but they're only about ten dollars difference we got two after the power went out guys and it has been a lifesaver i promise you now, guys, what's happening and why we are seeing this is if you look at the U.S. and Canadian map here, the blue areas along the Canadian border and the group, uh, Great Lakes, excuse me, are high pressure areas. And they steer this heat just like they steer a hurricane. And the heat is trapped along the southern borders and the southwest. Now you start seeing it coming into Canada on, in the northwest and the northwestern U.S. So the heat is being trapped by these high pressure systems we're dealing with el nino we need a break we need some hurricanes they don't have to be landfall hurricanes they need to sweep through the atlantic and the gulf then they become dangerous but there's got to be some marine pressure relieved from this heat and they're saying this that's what's triggering the heat is a sprawling ridge of high pressure which we're looking at which acts as a force field to deter any storms and deflect the jet stream to the north that's allowing sinking air to heat up and dry out with reading spiking 15 to 5 to 15 degrees above average because of that that's our problem on thursday that heat dome reached from offshore of the baja peninsula and southern california and the east to the eastern north pacific and to the gulf of mexico by the middle of next week, which is coming up, however, it is slated to intensify and consolidate all while shifting towards New Mexico and Texas. When that happens, guys, it comes across the rest of the south. It will anchor itself over the southern plains, rocky spreading its sphere of influence across much of the western, south central, and southeastern U.S. Sunshine will pour down unimpeded, baking the ground even more. So guys, take all precautions. It wouldn't hurt to store up extra water. Um, if you have water filtration, you can refill uh, water jugs, things like that. Whatever you got to do, have you got to have moisture. You got to have some way to cool off, or a lot of people are not going to make it. I know it's summertime, so guys, don't come in here and ask me why I'm doing this. It's summer. It happens every year. It's getting hotter, guys, and what I do is try to save lives as much as I can with my weather reports. So you have to deal with it. But we're watching it, guys. You watch this. Be very careful. Take care of your pets. It's a heads up. Be safe.